Okay, everybody. Hello. Um, this is how you update now. Um, you just go over here and you click on the power icon or systems icon or whatever you want to call it. And you left click. And you'll see there's a update available. Left click, and it'll bring up the update manager. Thank you, my lovely wife. My what lovely wife? She's also my wife. Uh, and it shows me all the updates that I need to do. Um, and you know, I trust my computer telling me this, so I'm going to update them. Most of them is, yeah, I have a problem with uh, that one right there. The Abbott, I have a, a crash right here that I just keep down in the corner because, well, it just keeps crashing over and over again. It keeps telling me about it. I can I close it, pop it back up, so I'm assuming that there. I've reported it to the, uh, launch pad, just, uh, they, they need to look on it. Um, no, um, yeah, that's what happens every time I do that. Uh, right now it's applying the changes. I'll show details as it goes so you can see what's going on. Okay, let's talk, while we're at, while we're waiting for that to download, let's talk about this a little bit. This is the uh, sound center. Uh, Right here is where, when you if you need to t turn your sound up, oh, I'll just close this real quick. Uh, right here is uh, how we get the uh, sound louder. Say say you uh, you're listening to a YouTube video is kind of low. Right click on sound settings, and it'll bring up another window for you. All right. It's, this right here is the output sound. This is where it normally is, is 100. Every time you close it or, or turn off YouTube or something, it'll go back to 100. Turn it up to 200%, which is right here, and it'll be a lot louder for you. Uh, the hardware right here is where you get change drivers or test speakers or whatever. Uh, input right here is where you want, right here is the problem that I was having. Um, you can change what microphone you use. I'm using the internal one for my for my uh, computer. Then you have the output, which you can change the balance of the stuff left or right. You can change headphones or speakers, you know. Um, then you have applications, which is, you know, Chrome's and uh, your microphone, your FFM, FFmpeg. All right. I now have to restart. <coughs> okay, today I'm going to show you how to change the Unity taskbar, make it smaller. First, we're going to go to uh, Preferences and then to Compass Setting Manager. Or you can just uh, push the Windows key and type in Compass Manager. If you don't have it, install it in uh, System Center, Software Center. And we'll go down to Ubuntu, uh, Unity, I mean, Ubuntu Unity, and you're going to go to Experimental. And, you're, and usually it's at like here, or about normal. I'm gonna take that all the way down to 32. And then you're gonna go to behavior. You want this on auto hide. Usually it's on dodge act dodge window. Well, we want it on auto hide, so it just goes away when you're done using it. So then close it. So that makes it nice and small and more manageable. Hey, how you doing, friend? Yeah, that's right. I have two, two tablets, two more. I don't want to worry about it. Hey, are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't know that. You're on my camera, monkey. People? Hey, I'm, I'm feeling better today. Um, ever since I signed up, I 
I think some new medication I'm on those I'm taking makes me feel kind of nauseous whenever I eat. So I, I, I like a, a porter and busted a South Bridge steak. And, and I feel sick now. I'll go with this. But hey, I'm sorry I missed two days. Um, I found, I was talking to Jordan from the Linux and he, I, I, I was, and transferring them to um, uh, ABIs. And there's this really neat program called Transfer Out. And it works pretty well so far. I'm going to uh, try a uh, video today to try it there. Um, well, see you tomorrow.